All right, so today I figured I would try my hand at a mod video for Farming Simulator 22. Uh, the mod I chose today is one that, uh, well, in my Millennial Farmer playthrough, I finally saved up the money to buy this trailer. And I had enough money that I could actually get a few different options through leasing. So we're going to be looking at the Fiber Dash Chemical Mixing Trailer. And if you do watch the Millennial Farmer YouTube channel, I believe he actually uses this too. So, I figured this is a good one to start using, and I'm kind of getting sick of driving my sprayer back and forth to the main farm. Now, it's not that far, but still. It takes time, and I'm impatient, so. When we get the mod, we have a lot of options here. So the first few options in here are kind of pre-made options. So we've got the 45 foot dash trailer, the 50 foot dash trailer. So if we go in, we look at the 50 foot or the 45 foot dash trailer, we've got two big water tanks. We've got a tote cage. We've got a regular little cage and we've got the dash system. And we do have some options on here. We can change our wheels to tandem, triaxle, etc. Um, with the mod I have, I can change the working speed. And then filling configuration. So I've got the we got the hose reel, the boom arm, and just standard. We go look at the 45 foot. We actually have two of the cages back here. Otherwise, everything's the same. Uh, if we look at the dash spray deck trailer, so we got the dash system right here. We got one water tank and we got some storage up here. Now you can put totes up here and jugs down here, or pallets down here. But then on the back, and I do have this one pulled out that we'll look at it a little bit closer, but on the back here, you can uh, tow your, uh, your sprayer around. Again, our filling options are the same. Except, hey, you know what I don't see in this here? I don't see... Oh, there's the boom arm. It seems like not a good place for it. Um, so we got through that one. We have the dash trailer simple. So I'm curious to see what that is. That really doesn't look... Oh. That's just a simple setup. It's got a few different things for configuration otherwise it's the same as the other dash we were looking at to begin with um then we get into we got some blank trailers so you can create your own dash setups we got a couple semi trailers a gooseneck um a flatbed for like trucks uh the x2 trucks and we got a couple more um drop deck semi trailers we have the fiber dash cage, or the cage. We got the dash system, which the dash system, there's two options and they're the heart of it. So the 4.4 is obviously a bigger system. Semi-trailers, you know, your larger trailers, or if you're just kind of scaling it down small, you can just get the single dash. We got our tote deck, so we can put totes here and here. Um, if you don't want to worry about the dash system, you just want to, you know, um, pump out what you have you know from the jugs or whatever you can just get the water pump then we get into our totes and our chemicals so we've got our herbicide tote twenty four thousand dollars it's a big chunk of change but i believe this because it's mixed with water i believe this um does forty thousand gallons total or liters sorry if you don't want to spend that money, we got the little jugs. Those take a little bit of time to keep hitting the R to refill. And we've got the pallet of the soluble fertilizer. Now, these chemicals all have to be, you can't use the uh, base game chemicals. It has to be these chemicals to work with the system. And we get into the water tanks. We have our water tanks right here that would be more for, you know, the flatbed truck or, you know, the gooseneck. And then we have the bigger ones here for the semi-trailers. Then we have a couple more options for the goosenecks and flatbeds. Um, I gotta find it. There is a water. 
Why won't it open? There we go. There is a water... Uh, what's it called? Water spigot. Ah, right here. We do have a water spigot right here. So just for test purposes, I'm going to put it here. Now this is free water. It does cost 300 bucks and it does fill rather quick. So it's a good one to use. And my dog is under my feet for some reason. Um, there was something else I was going to... Oh, we looked at the chemicals. So um, basically what I have out here is I have all the components for a dash system. And I've got the 50 foot trailer right here. So we can start, we'll start with kind of building one up. We'll jump on our forklift and we get to see how great I am with a forklift. I probably should have done this at the shop. That might have been a little bit easier. So let's see, we can get right up under here. And we'll put this one up at the front. And just remember, I am amazing with the forklift, as you can see. <laughs> oh, this is going to be painful to watch, everybody. Alright, let's see if we can get that right there. Now I got it up here, I think I can just go up and we'll just say I'm pushing it into place. Now, it, it is for attaching, it is a little bit forgiving. Um, you do attach each of these like you do a trailer, so... Uh, next thing we're going to come up to is our tote cage. And you'll notice I already do have one tote on top of it. I was just too lazy to take that off earlier. And this one goes right up front here. And if you look kind of closely in here, we get zoomed in. You see there's some handles here. That side we want out so we can walk in, put stuff in there. And I'll show you a couple of little things I found in addition to that. Oh boy, am I off. The attach points are forgiving, but I don't know if they were that forgiving. So we can set that one down. Yeah, my skills are just so great with the forklift that I'm going to have to do that. So we're going to run in. We're going to start attaching some of these so we're not hitting the... Uh... Okay, so there's one that got attached. Second one attached. So both of these got attached. Now if I do that, I'll be lifting the vehicle itself. Uh, give me a second here. Jump back in the little forklift. Now we're going to get the dash system on board. Whoops, what am I doing? And I could have just used super strength to move all of this, but I kind of wanted to practice with the forklift and stuff. Which proving to be a mistake for me. Alright, so this dash system, and this again is the 4.4, is going to go right here. Wow, I'm terrible at this, you know? And we're just going to go push this into place. For some reason, I couldn't get quite under those. 
that's uh, what I would like to call skill level zero. Whoops. get our kind of our storage rack on there and we'll push that back into place you know what, I'm probably going to cheat and use super strength for the last one, but let's get these attached. You see, they just, it kind of builds their little rack back there. We're just going to turn that off and we're, we're going to do it this way. I'm, I'm just feeling strong today. Oh, actually, this trailer, I, I did get the 50 foot trailer, and this does have room for a second one of these, which I didn't buy. So let's get this final thing attached and we created our fiber dash trailer. Now it does have some features here and it would appear I got the standard fiber dash without the boom but we have you know we can refill our dash with the R button which so I have this tote up here if I hit R well it's actually I already got it in there um, some of the features it has so we can uh, if you'll see I'll kind of move around here and zoom in so we can open and close this door um, this trailer does not have the steps. One of the other trailers does. We have the feature to open these side doors here, so I put some uh, some of the big jugs in there. And then the left mouse button, I just haven't figured out exactly what it's going to do yet. Um, we do have Z. So Z opens the nets on this back right in here. If we had the second one, N would open the second one. Um, while we're here, we're just going to take a spin over and fill up the water. So if I hit R, that one's full and you saw how quickly it filled it. Now, I think the trailer I may have gotten may have been a, a crappy one to get. But we'll take uh, mine later and fill it all up. But you see that, that went really fast, and that is free water. So we're going to drop that one over there. And we are going to pull my dash trailer out. This is the one I bought. And I, I didn't build it, I just bought this one. So you can see, <clears throat> I got the tote, main tote. I've got this, uh, this storage here, which I did put one bin in, or one, uh, pallet in there so I think I can fit two in there I can fit two on top we got a dash unit I did get the one with the boom arm and then it has the two storage features so that would be your N and your Z and then the second water back here now if we come and we look and we pay close attention over here we see the steps go up and down on it And I know the boom arm is supposed to go out, but it just isn't for me. 
And as you can see, I can open our doors here. So I can also unload with the I button. And everything I have right now is kind of filled up. So let's uh, spin this around the bin system here and let's go fill up water. And uh, I just damaged it. Apparently, I'm not a good driver today either. All right, so let's get our water. And you see our water's filling up here. And it goes quicker than some of the other in-game water, so... We're at 89%. I believe... And then we're filling up our second water. This tank seems to actually be bigger. It is definitely bigger. So we can carry a lot of water. Uh, let me take a look at something here. So let me open up a couple of things. So first thing I am going to do, I got to go to the other side. Oh, I think I have to unstrap. Okay, so my fertilizer is basically filled up in the dash unit, so I can kind of pop some fertilizer in here. And I'm going to pull this out. Now, one thing I did before, if I filled, yeah, everything's filled. So I'm filled with fertilizer. I can't fill this yet. <laughs> Now, one thing I'm noticing before, in the lower right-hand corner, I actually had room for stuff before. And I don't really have that now, but... So that's our full setup here that's completely done. We're going to pull this off to the side and we're going to park. Whoops. And you, when you're uh, detaching the trailer, you got to be careful that you're not detaching other items, so... There's a lot of different things you can detach. Now we'll just park over here. And here is more of the one that I just kind of built. Only this one, instead of having the boom arm, it has the hose set up. Otherwise, everything's the same on it. And then this is the third one. Well, fourth. But this is the one that you can carry your sprayer on. So you'll notice I had my sprayer out in the background. So we're going to hook up to this one. And you'll see in the right hand side we have unfold loader. And if you look back here, you'll see we got some stuff unfolding and then we'll lower them. So we're lowering our ramps. Then I can go get in my sprayer. Make our wheels thinner. 
Uh, we'll make our wheels thicker. <laughs> Oh. oh, there we go. So we got our sprayer loaded up on the truck. We can obviously raise. And then we can hit our straps and we're good to move. So you can take this around a little bit easier, which might not be a bad plan but I want a ha I want to have a lot of extra so we're gonna unstrap and we're gonna get the sprayer off of here and we're gonna drive this sprayer around over to my actual trailer now we'll find out here in a minute if the trailer has to be powered it would appear, well, obviously, the trailer's going to have to be powered, I think. Uh. Alright, let's fold things up. Oh, I've got to empty what I have in here. I had herbicide in there, so I got to get rid of that. More damage. I didn't close that door. Alright, so one thing I'm noticing I'm going to run into is I cannot seem to hit the refill trigger on here. Oh, I, I don't... it. Alright, I was trying to refill from the sprayer like you would with a bin, but this is actually you refill from the truck. So we hit I and you'll notice on the bottom we're going through quite a bit of fertilizer on there so we went through half of our fertilizer we had but only a hair of our water so let's run over to the sprayer and our sprayer is full with fertilizer which I do need fertilizer because it's going to be time to fertilize the fields but we got this out of the way I'm stuck in the fertilizer in the sprayer now, being that I have a pallet on board, I wonder if I can just hit R and refill. I cannot. So I would have to run around. Run around. Run around. I'll try this again after we get the straps off. I probably could have done that from... <laughs> well, I can't seem to get that off this time. Let's see if there is...
Now I just threw this pallet up there. All right, we're getting a forklift. I only have one pallet, so. God, I just can't go without hitting something. I wonder if it thinks that's open for some reason, or closed for some reason. Alright, let's hit Z. N. And we'll just reopen it. There it is, it just thought it was open, or closed. We'll just toss that there. And we hit R, so it does have to be on the outside. So when it's time to refill things, I just gotta go on the outside, take a few off, and refill it so I can do it in the field relatively easily. So, that's our fiber dash trailer. Um, I'm gonna go back and return all of this stuff as it's all leased. Although this one is a tempting one. And I'm going to put this in a better location. And we have our trailer. So I have a little bit more expedient way to do my fields. Um, that's all I had for this video. I'm going to start working on a next episode of the playthrough for the Millennial Farmer. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this video useful, interesting, or anything, give me a like, give me a subscribe, whatever. And everybody, have a wonderful day.